And with con Congress back in session, there's a big push by many U.S. agriculture groups to get the U.S.-Mexico-Canada trade agreement finalized this year. Russell Nemitz tells us more about the latest efforts in this morning's Montana Ag Network report. This past Thursday, Farmers for Free Trade held a rally on Capitol Hill to raise support for the new U.S., Mexico, and Canada agreement. And one of those in attendance was Michelle Erickson-Jones, a farmer from Broadview and the immediate past president of the Montana Grain Growers Association. I talked with her from the rally about the importance of the new trade deal for Montana farmers like her. Well, especially up in Montana, you know, barley is, Mexico is our number one market. We send a majority of our barley down to Mexico and they brew it down there and send it back across the border as beer. And for wheat, Mexico is the number one market for the overall in the United States. And so it is just a critical market. And USMCA also fixes some trade barriers that we have with Canada in terms of wheat trade. So it's an important update and it's an important to maintain those markets we've already developed. She said the rally also provided some much needed optimism that Congress will finalize the new U.S. MCA this year. I think that there is. There's been a lot more optimism in the last couple of days. Colin Peterson said today that we would have a vote um, in the House in the next month or two. So, so that was certainly encouraging to hear. And I think that the members on their recess definitely heard from their farmers in their districts that this is of critical importance, that this has to be finalized, and that this is you know a top priority. So that message has certainly been conveyed loud and clear to all sorts of members on both sides of the aisle, and that they're taking that and getting back to work now that the recess is over. It's also important to note that Mexico has already passed the new trade deal, and Canada is expected to follow suit very soon. In Billings, Russell Nimitz, MTN News. Now, Russell also says the benefits of the USMCA aren't limited to just farmers and ranchers. According to an independent analysis by the U.S. International Trade Commission, trade with Canada and Mexico supports 12 million American jobs, and 49 U.S. states count Mexico or Canada as one of their top three merchandise export markets. 